Let's talk, let me switch gears and talk about the, the fight for personal freedom here in New York City. Those yep. people who oppose your effort in the name of public health to, uh, to limit portion size when it comes to sugary drinks. Uh, a judge has ruled against you saying the law doesn't make sense at the moment. How far will you take this push to, to limit how much soda you can drink oh, well, in New York City? We're certainly appealing. We think the judge was just clearly wrong on this. Our Department of Health has the legal ability to do this. And we're not banning anything. All we're saying is we want to show you just how big the cup is. If you want 32 ounces, take two cups to your seat. If you want 64, carry four. But our hope is if you only take one, you won't go back. And so remember, haven't you we even won in losing, though? Wasn't this really about public awareness? Oh, well, obesity this year is going to kill more people in New York City than smoking. And if you remember, when we put a smoking ban in, nobody thought that was going to work. Today, all of Latin America, all of Western Europe, and almost every big city in America and most of the states are smoke-free. This is another thing. Obesity is going to kill more people this year in the world than starvation. Well, what about we have to do something sodium about linked deaths in New York City, 23,000 uh, back. We've been very successful. You look, a lot of the packaged goods manufacturers are now advertising low sodium and they've reduced the sodium in their products. Everybody's better but off. But where's the line? Would you ban the salt shaker? We're not banning anything. We're trying to urge them to tell the public which our job is to educate. It's the public's job to decide when they look on the grocery shelf or have the lever on a, on a, 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 a soda machine, which thing to take, which product is in their interest. All we're trying to do is educate. And then hopefully, if they understand, they would be better off with one product or another. But They'll make the you, intelligent you choice. Could, you could do ads for education. As the executive of New York City, you're telling people what they can and cannot do. Why is that government's no, no, job to do that? We're not telling them at all. We're telling them what science says is in their interest or isn't in their interest. We allow you to smoke. We just don't let you smoke where other people have to breathe the smoke that you uh, and th that you're exhaling or it comes from your cigarette. The same thing with obesity, which incidentally is a public interest because we're going to spend $5 billion on treating people with obesity in our hospitals in New York City alone this year. But regardless... But where's the line? Where, where is it too have, far for government to go? I do not think we should ban most things. I do think there are certain times we should infringe on your freedom, and that is, for example, if you're drinking, we shouldn't let you drive because you'll kill somebody else. Um, if you uh, uh, are carrying a gun, we shouldn't let you on an airplane. Um, there's a lot of things that we do. If there's, if there's asbestos in the classroom, we should remove the kids from the classroom till you clean the air. But in terms of smoking, if you want to smoke, I think you have a right to do so, and I would protect that. If you want to own a gun, I certainly think that it's constitutionally protected. You certainly have a right to have a gun if you want. If you uh, want to eat a lot and get fat, you have a right to do it. But our job as government is to inform the public.